Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of the combination, um, series, I guess you could say. Um, today we have the invasion of, Na- of Naboo on the CIS side. Um, as you can see we have a brown vulture droid just like in the Phantom Menace. It can also, I made sure to integrate this, it can stand up there just like that i'm gonna put it back in flight mode just so you can get that thumbnail uh thumbnail and then you've got this miniature mtt as you can see pretty simple small good for like um a stop motion something like that which i'm probably gonna be doing soon like with this that'd be pretty cool to do like a um, second invasion of nabu stop motion it would have to be gray but i don't know ideas um and then you have this landing craft as you can see, it's like do 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 do. Okay, that's cringe. Um, it, it's cringy. But um, as you can see, the transport—they're definitely not to scale with each other's each other. Sorry. Um, so if you're gonna put these, if you're gonna build these, don't build them all together, because as you can see, MTT would probably be like a stud or smaller, like the bottom of the stud. And then we'll go inside, but <clears throat> yeah, as I was saying, it's not to scale. <clears throat> Unlike some of my other ships with the other, the previous tutorial, which is the TIE Fighter, uh, Imperial, um, the Imperial Transport, or not Transport, but like Imperial, like, uh, I forgot what the exact name was it, it was, but um, something along the lines of Imperial Transport. So, um, yeah. First, we're going to start off with the MTT because it's the most simple. Then we're going to go to the Vulture Droid and then um, the Transport. I, I don't know the exact name for this, but I know it has a special name. You'll probably be able to find it somewhere on Wikipedia. So, uh, hello there. And uh, we'll get right into the MTT. Vroom. You're the tree. POV. You're the tree. Alright, welcome back. This is the MTT. Uh, I put it into like a certain, um, <clears throat> like, group so then I can remember how I build it because I do not have a second model of this. So you're going to not be able to see these, so I'm going to pull these off to the side so you can see them. Oh, you can't see this anymore. But yeah, first, we're going to start off with this. I'm going to put it sideways so you can see this little camera piece. Um... If you don't have that, I'm not sure what you can substitute. I don't even know if you can substitute. So, if you don't have that, you'll probably have to do a bricklink order. And I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure how common those are. So, what you're going to do first is you're going to grab your uh, one by one brown plate. And you're going to grab your brown stud. And you're going to put them on top of each other. Sorry, I did that wrong. The other way around like this perfect and then you'll grab your camera piece and put the one by one plate like that and then you're going to grab both of your one by two cheese slopes and you're going to put them right on the front just like this then you're going to grab two of your brown cheese slopes and throw them on the back like like a so then you're gonna grab one of your one by one brown tiles. You're gonna throw it on the back like that. And this is what it currently should look like. Then you're gonna grab your other, your final one by one brown tile. You're gonna put it right on the back, like this. Then you're gonna grab this piece. I'm not exactly sure what you call it. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a special piece. Uh, sorry about that. But you'll have this um, one by two brown plate. You'll throw it right there. I forgot that I changed out that piece for a simpler one so that you guys don't have to find a substitute. And you'll put your cheese soaps on. And it should look like this. I don't know why I said that in such a weird way. But um, yeah. Vroom. It would not go that fast. But yeah, this is the MTT. Next, we're gonna go to the Vulture Droid, as you can see. So, 
Okay, so I uh, gotta move these pieces. Sorry about that. Uh, speaking of those pieces, this is the Vulture Droid, by the way. I've taken it apart, as you can see. First, uh, you're gonna need this part right here, which I'm not sure how easy it is to get. You could also substitute it for a 1x2 um, brown plate and just put two uh, brown cheese slopes on. But as you can see, that's what you do. I'll put this right down here. Then you're gonna grab a 1x2 brown plate and put it right on the back, just like that. And then you're gonna grab your center piece, as you can see, I'll put it right like that. And you're gonna grab two, so you're gonna grab four one by one brown uh, plates. You're gonna put them on top of each other, just uh, twice for like, so they look like this. And then you're not gonna put them together. Actually, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put one on each side. Just like so. And then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna come back here. You're gonna grab your one by two brown slope and your one by one brown plate. And you're gonna put them just like that. Sorry about my hand being so in, up in the camera. And you're gonna put it like this and you now have the body of the uh, vulture droid. And then you're gonna grab both of your one by two brown plates. Actually, you're gonna put one down. And then you're gonna grab this one by four kind of like slope arch piece. You're gonna get one by your one by two brown plate. You're gonna put it right there. And you're gonna put that down. You're gonna do that the same with the other one. And you're gonna grab them uh, both, or just do one at a time. And as you can see right here, I'm not gonna put it in the middle. You could but it doesn't look the best and you'd have to get a special piece. What I'm actually doing is I'm leaving two pieces in the front so then it looks actually like a vulture droid. And then if you want, you can have it in the stand-in position if I can get it in the stand-in position. Oh gosh. Just like so if it will stay. As you can see, it stands. Oh, it's kind of hard to get it to stand. You have to be, you can't like shake around your table or anything. And then if you want, just boop, jumps up and zooms away. As you can see, top view, bottom view, um, back view, and then front view. And then it can zoom at the camera so then we can go on to the transport. Hello, this is the transport now. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually pull this up so you can see the full view of stuff. If you need to just pause quickly. Um I'll put you back down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab all of your two by four brown plates and you're gonna put them in a configuration just like, like sorry just like this as you can see in the back they're separated um and then next you're going to grab um hmm, let's see two brown one by three plates and then you're gonna take your front two two by four brown plates and you're gonna connect them just like that and then you're gonna grab your two by three brown plate that's right here and connect the back to it next you're going to grab two uh, brown studs and put them on the front pieces just like that and then you're gonna grab um all four of your one by four plate or sorry tiles you're gonna put one here i'm gonna put them on quickly and then i'll show you because it's all the way back here as you can see this is the front wing this is the rear wing 
And then what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna grab two, all four of your one by two tiles and you're just gonna put them on assortedly, assortedly just like this. As you can see, you get the one by two tiles and then you're gonna grab all of your wall, one by one brown tiles and you're gonna put them on the um, little open areas, as you can see right there. And then what you're gonna do next is you're going to grab, um, let's see here, two, actually wait, hmm, no, sorry. I just have a little reference photo here I'm taking inspiration from. Not inspiration, but like I'm going from. You're gonna grab these pieces right here. You're gonna put them at, in that conf configuration. The inverted slope, the not inverted slope, and the two one by two uh, brown bricks. And then, actually, I'm gonna hold this up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold it like this for now. You're gonna put a one by four brown plate like that. And then you're gonna grab a one by three brown plate, put it like that. And then you'll grab your final one by three brown plate and put it on like that. And then I'm gonna put you guys back down on the stand. And then you'll grab your rear wing. You'll put it back where the inverted slope is, just like that. And then you'll grab your front wing and put it just like so. This is what it should look like. <laughs> All angles. Just like that. And then, as you can see, this is the transport. Sorry, that's a little weird, uh, cringe. Um, so, this is the end of the video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, just leave in the description what you didn't like about it. Um, as you can see, these are all the vehicles here I have at the end that you guys just built, if you're building them all. And um, yeah, as I said, if you didn't like it, just uh, leave a comment saying what you didn't like, and we can change that up. And um, sorry, let me just fix the lighting quickly. And um, if you did like it, uh, leave a comment what we should be, what we should build next time. And, uh, yeah, see you in episode three.